Hello and welcome to another Cocos 2DX tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to create an, an Android project that works very easily and very easy to set up on Mac. We've already created another video on how to do this that's literally like a full setup where that takes you through the process of where to get the ADT bundle from, where to get the Eclipse bundle from, where to get Cocos 2DX from, extracting it, getting it all set up. But this sort of assumes a bit of knowledge like you've got Eclipse set up, some basic stuff. So this is great for some new developers to Cocos 2DX but know a little bit about development in general. So Eclipse and Cocos 2DX. So this is great for them. But we have the beginners one which there'll be a link in the description to that video. Um, but our aim is to try and get this video under 10 minutes and get an Android project working on a device. So I've downloaded the ADT bundle, the NDK and the Cocos 2DX in a folder on my desktop called Android Dev. You can put it wherever you want but I'll recommend putting it in a folder that you're generally not going to be moving around so maybe somewhere in applications like development but again it's up to you first thing you want to do is open up terminal and we want to actually set the ndk root so we're going to do export ndk underscore root equals quotation marks then we just drag the ndk root directory it is the folder with basically all the other folders and files in there drag that on click back and close quotation marks and click enter and now that's great the NDK is now set up. And the next thing you want to do is CD space and then go to your Cocos 2DX root folder, open up tools, open up project creator, then drag the project creator folder here into the terminal, click enter. Now we want to actually run this command to create a new project. So we do python create underscore project dot py dash project and we're going to just call it and no we won't call it android we'll call it mm, what should we call it mm, test app dash package i'm going to do learning dot sonar system dot code you not code uk dot test app dash language And set the language on which I'm just going to be using JavaScript. Now click enter. Now the actual directory is created. What you want to do is go to projects, test app, and then you want to do cd space. Just drag in the project.android, which is this. Click enter. And in here, we're going to be running this file the build underscore native dot sh this assumes you set up the ndk root which we did about a minute or two ago so i'm going to do dot forward slash build underscore native dot sh click enter now this is going to compile the cocos 2d x and uh, this is going to take quite a few minutes this is literally the bulk of the process there will be a little link to be able to skip this process to get to the end of this compilation so if you don't want to watch it that's fine if you do that's fine as well but once this is done there literally is two steps to get it running onto a device free if you include actually running it but first we'll include include the cocos 2dx library in our eclipse workspace next we'll include the actual application into our eclipse workspace and then we can just run our application
Shouldn't be long now. Maybe about a minute or so more. Okay, there we go, it is now done. The next step is to actually just open up Eclipse, which is here, ADT bundle, Eclipse, just double click the application, just select our workspace. You can actually just close down the terminal now that you don't need it. You wanna right click here, import, list in Android code into workspace, click browse, you want to select Android Dev or wherever your Cocos 2DX directory is located, click the root directory. That's just Google Now. Apparently, I initiated Google Now. Um, just click open. And then you want to do deselect all and just select this lib Cocos 2DX. It may not be the first one, just, but just make sure it's the lib Cocos 2DX. You don't want to select this, we just want to keep it in the original directory, click finish, click allow, that's fine, that's just Eclipse related, then you right click again, click import, list in Android code into workspace, click browse, you want to go to your Cocos 2DX root folder, then you want to go to projects, tester, or whichever application you want to import, you got to make sure that the build underscore native.sh has been run, otherwise this will not work, click open, Again, you don't want this selected, click finish. And there we go, we got no errors. If you have any errors in the in the .java file, basically moaning about Cocos 2DX, it's more than likely you haven't included the lib Cocos 2DX project. And then the next step is just to literally run this application. Just gonna make sure run configurations is yeah. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. Now I'm just going to right click, run Android application. It is moaning about something. Let's just. Okay, just do target. Now I just want to do always prompt to pick device. So I'm going to click apply, close. Then right click, run as Android application. And here we go. Just gonna select my device. First of all, I'm just gonna start recording my device via my iPhone. Okay, now that is recording. Click OK. There we have it. We've got Cocos 2DX. Just focus in a little bit. On running on an Android app device, it is the Nexus 5, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter what device it is, whether it's a Nexus 5, a Nexus 7, a HTC One X, or HTC One, Samsung Galaxy S3. More than likely, it should work as long as it's not immensely old. But there you go, that's how to run an Android application, get it generated, and get it running on a Android device using Cocos 2DX. Thanks for watching.